Alright dudes and dudettes, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day because we are playing Stoneblock 2 and this will just add to your day. If it is not going very good, well hopefully this will make it better. So anyway, here we go. Like my hat, it's cool. Check this out. Check out what I did. I did this cool thing. We have a garden cloche here that's uh, getting seeds and there's a trash can actually back behind here that we are not putting anything into. Which just realized, uh, that's cool. So this is supposed to take all the, the wheat out. Basically just throw it away in here so we don't have it clog up our system because we don't really need, really need that much more wheat. Um, so we have that there. I went ahead and did that just a little bit ago. And I also, check it out, 10, 10, 10, all of these redstone chickens and all of these coal chickens. So very cool. And right up here, I've got, I just got an iron chicken and we've had a yellow chicken for a while. And we get the iron chicken from breeding up a bone white chicken and a flint chicken. And as you can see, we just got another bone white one. So I've been just kind of, uh, don't worry about that. Wait, oh, we got another yellow, okay. <laughs> so I, I really, so I got glowstone here, so glowstone's good. Um, I've got them breeding up, and then I've also, this is where we got the glowstone, and then the glowstone guy I used, oh wait, what do we use the glowstone chicken for? I thought there was, other than getting glowstone, there was another need we had for him. I guess not. So we'll just 10 10 10 him and throw him all across here. I also 10 10 10 all of the sand chickens. And then if you look through that little corner here, you should be able to see those lines going across. I have uh, some roost collectors, I think they're called. Yeah. And so these basically pick up all the items that the chicken lay. And then I have uh, some item conduit that puts them down into an, uh, an ender chest and they go through our system. And boom, look at it. So I went ahead, we, we streamed a lot of this. Uh, we added all these new molecular assemblers. Um, I went ahead here off camera, you know, I filled in all these, I added these two here. Uh, that wall doesn't have anything. This one is uh, almost has stuff. Uh, it just has stone and um, gravel here. It's just, just making it like this. Uh, I've got some uh, specter coils on the back there. And then I also went ahead and made up this big wall of items. So our system up top that processes all of our ore chunks uh, comes down here to an ender chest uh, and then goes to a different one which goes into our system but then underneath each of these if you look we have a drawer controller and there is a different drawer controller on each of these so that way we're able to have all of these here and then as you can see look we have quite a few blocks of iron in here got all of our diamonds all of our redstone so this is pretty cool. I've also, you know, pretty up that we're going to be working on that in a little bit. Um, and then here's our auto processing, but it, it looks really good. I got to add all the, the, the chisel and bits blocks to the outsides and weird. They aren't automated anymore. I just updated to the latest one and the fans aren't working right. That's supposed to be a malfunctioning fan, as you can see. Oh, man, it looked really cool before, but I guess it was causing quite a bit of lag. I also went ahead here and put uh, some blocks on the inside of our mob farm. And also put this dark glass here so we can see into it and check it out, make sure everything's okay. I also went ahead here and kind of kind of polished this room up. I just took the uh, all of the soul sand out of here and threw it into our system. But as you can see, it looks normal. Here's all the mechanism stuff that I've been working on here. We'll get into that in a little bit. I've also got, here's our ultimate furnace. Um, I've got this kind of set up here, auto smelt system. I also polished up this room. I just did some minor stuff, but we do, um, when you'll need to finish it up, obviously. I also took the specter coil out of this. It seems to be working phenomenal. So we have, we have some of these that we need to grab. I'm trying to get more specter coils, uh, so that way I can put them behind all those material stonework factories. And perfect, we got a few. Total of four. Now we can go ahead and automate all of that. So let's go do that now. Our main task for today's video is going to be uh, what's it called? The big reactors. Easy Badfish was watching our stream and he made a genius point in saying that we probably need to get into big reactors because I'm using a lot of these spectra coils now and uh, it'd probably just be better to switch over. Uh, I'm also going to go ahead and move this guy to here. Like so, and bada bing, bada boom. So now we go like that. We won't be able to see any of this cable. I'll eventually switch that out, so don't worry. But bam, so now these are all making stuff. So let's go ahead and we'll make 
Hold up, we need to go back to grinding. And I want to make this one glass. So let's take the glass out here. Put it up there. Do I have my key on me? I sure do. Perfect. I'm going to lock it in. And we will extract and insert here. And now we are getting glass production. So let's go here. We'll grind it up again. Grind it up again. And... Hmm. I don't really know. I mean, we can make silicone. I mean, we can get that system automated again. It's not a bad idea. And then I think I'm going to leave one of these as cobblestone as well. I think that'll be the final one. Just a cobblestone generator. I think that would be quite sweet. Check it out. We already got the cobblestone. So bam. So insert there. No extracting. And then take you out. So there we go, and then insert there, and extract. Yep, so now we have all of those automated cool beans. So check it out, we have stone, gravel, glass, silicone, and cobblestone now, and that'll be all stored there. As you can see, I have been slowly chiseling away at filling these up with uh, 64Ks. Uh, eventually we'll take all of the 1Ks out too, we'll throw them back into our system and all of that, so. But it's been, uh, it's been fun. I also automated this pulverizer. I don't know if I showed that on camera. I think I might have. But yeah, we are uh, we're moving along. Let's throw, go ahead and throw these back in our bag. Okay. So big reactors. What is that re... What is it called? Extreme reactors. We're doing extreme reactors. Sorry, not big reactors. Extreme. So I went up and made a whole bunch of graphite bars. And then uh, I honestly thought that you couldn't use uranium for power, but I'm pretty sure AZ suggested that you could. So we're going to give it a try. If not, we're going to blame him. And if it works, we'll blame him too. So we're going to go ahead and make some of this stuff up. What do we need for this? Like five. Oh, we had a gold. How did I get you? Uh, it's okay. We can go ahead and I will smelt up these items and we'll get some more gold because we're going to need it for later. We do have a gold seed so I'm, I'm honestly surprised that that happened but I'll smelt all this stuff up and be right back. Okay so it's only giving us one nugget for an entire thing of chest piece so we're not going to worry about that today. Uh, so let's see we can make these up now. Make up four stacks just in case. And then, let's see, reactor controller, boom, first one, done. Actually, there should be a something to do with reactors, if I'm not mistaken. We should probably follow that chain. Uh, maybe it's here? I guess not. I think that was stone block one, then. Oh, well, we're just going to do it, then. We're going to need a power tap. Oh, we don't need, we don't need a redstone tap. Oops, almost did that. Uh, where are you? We're going to need an access port. Bada bing, bada boom. We'll actually need two of these to get this stuff out. Uh, red net port. Tesla power tap. That's new. We're going to need some of you. Uh, I'm going to make 16 of these for now. Because I don't know if we can actually contain the amount of power. Then we're going to go up four blocks, so 16, yeah, we'll call that good. I don't know. I don't know how many we're doing. I feel like we need something else. We don't even have a power tap. I guess Tesla power tap is what it is now. I don't know. They just did an, up or, uh, an update to this pack, I do believe, so it's all changed. Reactor glass. We have to have reactor glass. We'll only do that on the front. And let's see, where do we even want to put this thing? Do we want to put it over here? Uh, yeah, we're going to put it over here. So we'll break you and we'll put it right in here. And I need some reactor casing. Okay, so we're going to see about making this work out as best we can. And the cool thing is, is I can just have an exporter coming right from our system because it's so close. Um, a 
Okay, so we're going to need a heck of a ton more reactor casing. Okay. I don't know if that's even enough. I don't know how far back we're going to go. We're going to find out. Okay, so this is going to be a tiny one compared to what our last one was. And we're going to indent it a block because it's going to look better. I kind of wish I would have done that for my other ones. Okay, so this thing is going to be tiny. Oops, missed that one. Let's go back. Two more. That way we can get at least somewhat of some power coming through here. Okay, and then we'll place that here. Let's go ahead and grab this bad boy. Hmm. Yeah, this needs to come back too. We need to fill it in. And then we made way too many of those casings, so we're just going to go. Uh, we need to actually do that. And then the power or the taps will go, things like that will go there. And then the rods will go here. Okay, these things are going to be so small. Okay, and then we're going to need to snake our way back behind. Like over here somewhere. We'll go in, out. Oops, getting close. You're here, you're here. You will be the outlet. You'll be the inlet. Yep. Okay. And then we can have... I'm going to put the power tap back here. All right. And we are going to grab a power cell. Do I have any more power cells left? I don't. Let's see about making up a power cell. We need middle guy. Cool. All right. Oh, and I also did one more super cool thing. Check this out. Oop. So I made a, this is a sneaky false block. So you're able to make it look like any other block, and then you're able to walk through it as well. So it's, it's pretty cool. Oh, no, I unlinked it. There we go. Now it's linked. And then this will be in on all sides. And then we need to fill it with something. Now, I'm not 100% sure what we need to fill it with. Um, so this will be here like so. And we don't need to fill it with a lot. Okay, so that makes it complete. Yeah. So we're going to... Oh, wow. That takes a good while to break. Okay, so that's good. We need to... What about endurium? Do we have the... Do we have any cows that can do that? Uh, we have water. Uh, milk? I don't think that'd be a good one. Lava is probably the opposite of what we want to put in there. Um, hmm... You know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking real quick. If we were to put this thing right here, we could go up for a while. And then we could even go wider because, you, it, yeah, hmm. I think it'd be a better idea to put it there. But we're going to see about getting this thing running for now. See if we can, uh, what, what kind of power we're, we're pouring. So we need a magma crucible. What are you? Oh my gosh, we have nothing. <laughs> okay, so I don't need to make any more tin gears, I think. Yeah, I made quite a few of them. Yeah, I made a total of three. <laughs> That's so many. Uh, one. Oh, no. How do you make this again? Ah, right stuff. No, I got rid of it. Son of a nutcracker. Okay. Uh, where's my stone crucible? Hmm. 
What is it? Is it a barrel? Is that why I'm messing up? Yeah, that's why I'm messing up. I think I do that every single time. Okay, so you're there. You're there. I'll put you for you. Yeah, see, we don't, we got hardly anything. Perfect. So we got all four of them. All right. Make this bad boy up. Actually, we only need to make three. Cool beans. Okay. So back to the magma crucible. Magma crucible. Okay. Now we need hardened glass. Now, what is a good one? What is the normal one? There you are. So pulverized lead and pulverized obsidian. Okay. Got it. Didn't get that one. Got that one. Got that one. <laughs> Trying to steal them as they go in. Did I get them all? I think I got them all. Okay, cool. Take you out of there, put you in there. Now we're making up the hardened glass for the magma crucible. This is a, uh, a nightmare. All right, and then we need one of you. Boom. And then we need another copper deer. Boom, okay. All right, we got hardened glass, which is good. Boom, magma crucible, and then a fluid transposer. Actually, let's test this out. Let's get a spectre coil. We have one, great. Now, I'm not sure if you can pull stuff out of that. If not, we're gonna waste a few into pearls. But we have a few. And you need to be upgraded really bad. Oh, no, it's not the cool kit. Oh, man. Wait a sec. Oh, it's the conversion. We can get up to this guy, though. And then we can go... Like that, and then we can get some augmentations. Let's make it faster. Oh, we need you. All right. It's still able to keep up. Dang, Spectre coils are legit. Okay. And this takes a while. Okay, I'll be right back. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, oh, oh we're able to get it out of it. Perfect. So we don't need, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, I can get two buckets. Okay, if we are not careful with this stuff, we will get teleported. And I don't know, we might die. Cool thing is we can use slash spawn. So if worse comes to worse, we, we might be okay. Okay. Uh, I didn't bring anything. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, 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 boy. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Okay. So I'm gonna let this stuff uh, keep keep uh, going, and we're gonna see about I don't know doing stuff over there. <laughs> Yay! All right, so we should be on our final bucket of endurium here, and I did get teleported once. We did not die, so that was a good sign. And boom, so we should be okay. All right, so now let's see about getting a cable over to it. Dense cable. I do have some. Perfect. Now we're going to need an exporter. Let's craft one of these up. I wish it would just stay there. It keeps like taking you back out. And then we have an ender chest. You. 
and then the conduit. So, yeah, that's all we need, I think. Yep, we should be. Oh, we need acceleration. One, two, three, four. Perfect. All right, let's see. So, we should be able to go down right here. We're going to come up about right here. We're going to get the export part of this thing set up first. So, extract. We're going to disable that side and then insert only. Yep, so that will put items into here. Where is that other one opening up? Oh, there's one probably like right over here. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so let's get to. Okay, so yep, there it is. Perfect. We're just going to go straight up. Yep, just like so. And then. Export, we need the sky. Perfect. Oh man, I forgot to bring the uranium. I feel silly. Okay, so let's go ahead and cover this back up and that one. Oh, I got rid of the other stuff too. We need to come back and get that. All right, uranium, we just need one block and all of those are set to the uranium. So hopefully those are producing it quick enough. And yep, we can go to here, some uranium. Yep, we've got uranium in there. Perfect. And let's activate it. 6,000, 7,000. Dang, okay. So about, wow, we're getting a lot of power out of this little thing. I'm trying to look for cyanide. I don't see any. So I think we're okay. Um, I think we're going to leave that down here, honestly. I think we're going to start up another one. <laughs> We're going to have two reactors, but we won't do that this episode. So that's a pretty basic tutorial on how to set one up. Um, let's see how much time we got left in the video, and I'll be right back. So unfortunately, guys, that is all the time we have for today. I didn't realize how far along we were. Um, if you end up seeing this thing gone in the next episode, and it's probably up over at that spot, and probably a lot bigger. Because, I mean, for the amount of uranium we're producing, it is... Uh, we're not really seeing a big dip in it. So, I mean, we're, we seem to be okay. Uh, how much cyanide do we have? We don't have a single one yet, and I've we've been running it for quite a bit. So our power system should be good. We should be able to take out these guys. Um, switch that to out. That might help. Let's see here. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's still kicking up. So I think we're good for power for a little bit. Uh, it's it's nice to have more stable power. It means we can also get into the miners. The, uh, this guy. The void ore miner. So we're going to be working on that in the next few episodes. So I will see you guys in the next episode. I hope you have a great Monday. I will see you guys tomorrow for the next episode of Stoneblock. But anyways, guys, have a great one. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.